This is catfish as well. Because up north of Namibia, people do not have electricity. So to preserve the food, they have to dry it out. Just vice versa, for the people that have electricity, they put it in the freezer. It freezes, for us, we dry it out. And when you put it in the pot, you cook it just to make it soft, and then from there on, you can eat it as well. And uh, this is spinach, dried spinach. Can you just stand like this? This is dried spinach as well. So we eat this one as well. This is berries, quite sweet as well. Very important as well in the media. And uh, this is the famous Kapana spice. This spice is so good, you can eat it with the meat, chicken, anything you want. It's a special ingredient to the salsa that I'm going to show you on the other side. And over here, we have Mopani worms. Little, little worms. Quite a delicacy in the media. When I was growing up, this is Mopani worms. Worms, yes, little worms. Yes. Oh, they dried, yes? This one is dried, yeah. Okay. So they dry it out to preserve it. Because up north, if you don't dry it out, it might get bad. So just to dry it out to preserve it. So growing up, I wasn't really allowed to eat this. Because it's a delicacy in Namibia. Mostly only the elders can eat this. So only when I'm older now, I can buy this and eat it myself. Okay? You can eat it dry like this. Or you can put it in a pot, cook it until it's prepared. And this is also another fruit. I don't know how to say it in, in English, but in Oshivambo we call it Enyandi. You can try, but take one. Yes? But you can take a, you can take a half a bite and just taste it. If you like it, then you can throw everything in. Now over here, we have mais meal. This is a very important commodity in Namibia. Up north of Namibia, most of the people make a porridge. When we go over there, I'm going to show you how a porridge looks like. So to make a porridge, you plow your fields, you wait for the rainy season it rains, you plant this mais meal, it's going to grow and then you can uh, get harvest to get it. Nice meal when you found it, you get this powder, like a white powder. This powder is what we use to make the porridge on the other side. Okay? Yes, but, yes. but now the porridge, this one they make, it's not like pap. Okay. Pap is white. Our porridge is a little bit dark. Yeah. When you go there, you're going to see it. Yeah. And this is, um, this is soga. Make different breweries in Namibia, some of which can make you drunk, some of which is just like a fizzy traditional drink that you drink in the house. Okay? 
Specialization in what you can do. You can't do everything because they want everybody to benefit from the market. Just make space there. What are you going to space? You chance to make So over here, this is the porridge. If you look over here, this is the porridge that is made from the maize meal that I showed you. From the surface, then uh, the seeds, and then when you pound it, you get the white powder. From the white powder, when you cook it, you make a porridge like this. This is quite very important in Namibia. Everything we eat. Boza, Andi, Aman, Tere, Amanga. So, everything, so the people make the porridge and then you eat this. Quite very important. So, growing up, I'll eat porridge in the morning, dinner, lunch, breakfast. Porridge. Maybe with chicken or everything is different. It was just porridge always. So, a lot of tribes eat the porridge depending with whatever you want to eat. Fish, chicken, or meat. This is the fried bread. So we're gonna continue to this side and we're gonna come back. Oh, 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 oh. So over here they are making a salsa. So the gentleman cuts this one. Start, they cut the tomatoes, they mix it up with onion, they add a special capana spice, the one that I showed you, and uh, oil and vinegar. They make a salsa that you eat with the meat. On a daily basis, he cuts this, that's why you see it's very good with it. Okay? We're gonna proceed to the other side, see where they are selling the meat. When we come Spice the salsa, you put it together, you can see down in the UC. Okay. So, from right to left, we are all making the same food. Just same meat, 
same me which is just called me. You see, they are all calling my name now, Joseph, Joseph. So it's a matter of whoever is about marketing. They are doing marketing. They say, no, come to me. I'll catch you for you more. Mine is best people. It's always the same. Okay? So we normally buy meat and then we try it out. It's quite delicious. I'll always advise if you want to try it, try it. In the media, like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you find it very, very busy here because everybody wants to try the meat. It's special. It's very, very good. So I can buy and then we can try it out. Anybody who wanna try it with me? Okay. So let me see, let me see where Anybody wanna choose for me? Because me if I choose they're gonna end up saying Joseph the last time he didn't choose. Come on, Steve. Point for me. Which one? This one? <laughs> so they sometimes they, they always cut pieces for you to taste. Yeah. These are pieces, just a taste. You take a piece, you put it in the fries, not too much, and then you try it out. You guys can try there as well. You put it in the fries, not too much. So, yeah, I'm 